I'm Julie Blanner from the Lifestyle website, julieblanner.com, where I share easy ideas for recipes, home decor, entertaining, and more. You may already know that I'm somewhat of a minimalist. I won't actually call myself that because I just like to have that nice balance in my life, but I do tend to lean toward a minimalist lifestyle. One of the many things that I receive questions about frequently is about my wardrobe. Now, I kind of found that surprising at first because I consider myself anything but fashionable. I put function first. Of course, we all like to look nice. While I've spent more time than I care to admit this year in my yoga pants, I still rely heavily on my minimalist wardrobe. For me, a minimalist wardrobe comes more out of practicality than anything else. Why I love a minimalist wardrobe is because you can mix and match, save time, save money, and of course it's environmentally friendly as well. It's completely effortless. You can dress it up or dress it down. Here are my tips for creating a minimalist wardrobe of your own. Select items that have a timeless style. My wardrobe spans over several years. In fact, there's one cashmere dress that I purchased on clearance over 12 years ago that I still wear very frequently today. It's one of my favorite winter dresses. And it's so cozy, comfy, cute, you can dress it up and dress it down. When you're choosing pieces, stay in a consistent color palette. Of course, you can have a little fun here and there, like this is my flare piece but you wanna stay within a consistent color palette so that everything can effortlessly mix and match. In addition to choosing timeless pieces and things that are in a consistent color palette, you might also wanna think about what can transition from one season to another. You hear me talk about that a lot in our home, but the same applies to your wardrobe. I will wear this piece fall, winter, and spring, even though it gets really cold here in Missouri, there are a lot of days where I can throw a sweater over it and it's perfect. So I like to choose pieces that I can really wear year round. In fact, I could easily still blend this into summer with some nice tan flip flops. When you select timeless pieces, they can transition with you through the years. So many of my favorite things I've had for three, five, and like I mentioned before, over 10 years. I actually only purchase two or three things per season. And when I say per season, I kind of have that winter and spring, summer, and fall wardrobe for my lifestyle here in Missouri because we have really harsh winters, but spring, summer, and fall, you can kind of blend pieces from one to another. Summer, of course, is the other extreme. So I look for pieces like that that can lend themselves one direction or another. But I will, you know, at most purchase six new items a year. And I actually gave that a lot of thought. I was like, really, is that all I purchased? But I'm looking back and I'm like, yeah, this sweater is all I purchased so far this year. So I definitely recommend investing in some really nice fine pieces that you're excited about. Of course, I also have those pieces that are just a few dollars, they're really inexpensive, and when you pair them with something else, they really feel elevated. So have fun with it. And my final tip for creating a minimalist wardrobe is stick with a style. Like I mentioned, of course you can have a little flair, but not only with your color palette, but with your style, if you keep it consistent, it makes it super easy to mix and match. I kind of wear things that are a little bit effortless, they freely move. Um, in that color palette, you'll see me with a lot of shades of blues and tans, and it makes it really, really simple. Now, of course, you can always add in a little color here or there. You don't have to be afraid of color. Just kind of think of what will work with one another when you're purchasing it. Can you wear it with more than one pair of pants? Can you wear it in more than one season? That always helps me decide if that piece is worth investing in or not. And first and foremost, I'm all about fit. And coming on that topic, 
You may have noticed that I frequently wear dresses. Well, it's not only for style or because I'm trying to dress up, it's truly because I think waistbands are overrated. But beyond that, I love a dress because it's one piece. So that means it's less laundry, it's less to think about putting it on, less, you know, to actually pair. It's just a lot less thought. So overall, it's really effortless. Another reason I really love dresses is because it's another piece that you can really effortlessly dress up or dress down. I can wear a dress with flip-flops or heels. I can go from day to night without any thought at all. I wanted to share some of my favorite pieces with you. This was a request that several of you had, and I'm happy to finally share them today, and I'm so flattered that you like my style. So first and foremost, jeans. They're a requirement here in Missouri, unfortunately. They're not my favorite, so I'm really particular about them. I like them with just enough stretch that they're super comfy and feel like those yoga pants, but not too much stretch where I have to keep pulling them up. So I have two pair of denim that are my go-to. I have a third pair that are, they kind of just stuck with me through the years that I'll blend in every now and then. But my first pair is of course a dark pair of blue jeans. They are great when you need to kind of dress them up, but of course casual enough for every day. And my cream colored denim, which who says you can't wear white after Labor Day because I wear these year round. I call them my winter white this time of year, but I really enjoy wearing them in spring and summer as well. And my third pair of denim, they're just kind of like those like light, a little bit more destructive, they have a raw edge hem, and um, they're just super comfy and cozy, and I think those things will stick with me as long as I fit in them. And I pair those in the winter with one of three sweaters. I have a navy cashmere blend v-neck sweater. I tend to gravitate towards v-necks. And again, I can wear that in spring or fall as well. I even wear it with shorts in the summer on the occasion that you find me in shorts or a linen skirt. I also have a camel colored sweater and a cream colored sweater. Now you might wonder, why don't I have a black sweater? Well, before my mom passed away, she said, Julie, why do you wear black all the time? It's so depressing. So I actually wear very little black. So I just wear a lot of navy. And of course, you know, I have an array of dresses. Now, I gravitate toward the same ones over and over again, and I actually have purchased this one multiple times, the navy blue v-neck that you often see me in. I've purchased, I think, three times now. Unfortunately, it's one of those things that has mistakenly gone in the laundry a time or two, but I love it so much, I purchased again. I think I've been wearing this dress consistently for about five years now. It's so comfortable, dress it up, dress it down. The silk is very effortless and it's inexpensive. If you purchase it at full price, it's about 120, but I always get it at a discount store online for less than 60 and I think the last couple times I purchased it were only like 30. It's just one of those pieces that always feels right for a multitude of reasons. Now, I also cannot live without a good chambray dress for the same reasons. It's just so comfortable. It goes with everything. I feel like it's super casual and comfortable in the summer. You can wear it with boots in the fall. I just, it's been a go-to for years. Absolutely love having a chambray dress. Now, that discount piece that I was talking about earlier that I have in my closet is an old navy black t-shirt dress. I wish they still made it because I purchased it for $10 and I wear it all the time. It's super comfortable, I really like the fit of it, and again, dress it up a little bit, not as much as most of them, but dress it down as well. And finally, this dress. This dress, it was just kind of like on a whim I saw it and I was like, I really want it. I threw it in my cart. And then I saw the price and I was like, I'm not gonna do it. Then Facebook ads hit me for about three months straight and I finally gave in. And it's one of the two pieces I have purchased this year. I really love it, I'm glad I did. I might have it altered to take it up a notch because I kind of like it a little bit shorter, but it's so comfortable. I wore it um, with a sweater over it and 
I don't know, I wear it like this. I just enjoy it. It's really comfortable. It's a little more fun than I go typically. So um, yeah, have fun with your wardrobe, whatever you do. You might want to wonder a little bit about my shoes. I don't think I have an average shoe closet and I'm okay with that. I used to be all about shoes. More was more. And then I got overwhelmed. Like once you get frustrated one morning and you can't find the match to your shoe, it's just all over from there. And that happened to me one too many times. So I pared it down, I donated a bunch of them, and I have, for like the last four or so years, consistently worn a pair of heels for the summer, a pair of heels for the winter. I always have a great pair of leather flip-flops, a pair of flip-flops for the pool and the lake, and in the winter, I wear um, some Sorrels. They keep me nice and cozy when we have snow, and I've had those for, I think, three years now, and my Hunter boots that I've had for 10-ish years now. So as you'll see, a minimalist wardrobe can save you so much money, but it really saves a lot of time getting ready at the beginning of the day and even doing laundry at the end of the day. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to let me know. I would love to know what videos would you like to see. I am looking for all the inspiration. I will link to everything I discussed here today in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Don't forget to click subscribe and ring that bell.